uh, today we are going to be talking about ciproflaxin or otherwise known as cipro. So it's typically used for enterococcus, staphylococcus, streptococcus, solid strep throat, whatever, uh, pseudomonas, uh, salmonella, stuff like that, anthrax, whatever. You can check what it's typically used for. So common infections that uh, are treated with ciproflaxin are skin infections, sinusitis, urinary tract infections, prostatitis, pneumonia, bone and joint infections, diarrhea caused by bacteria, gonorrhea, typhoid fever. So there are warnings when you are going to use this antibiotic. It may increase the risk of swelling and tearing of tendons such as those that attach muscles to bones in the hands, shoulders, and ankles. The likelihood of tendon damage is greater if you also take a steroid medication or if you're older than 60. And if you experience pain, swelling, or stiffness, and then let your doctor know. It can cause changes in brain activity and it affects people with a history of seizures. So, like me, you're supposed to tell the doctor that wants to prescribe this to you uh, if you have seizures already. And uh, that's exactly what I did. I always, I always tell any doctor that uh, I have seizures just just in case it interacts with the medication or if it's going to cause any extra problems. The doctor assured me that no, there's not going to be any interactions um, because this medication from what I've read actually interacts with Dilantin and uh, Phenotec or Phenotoin and I'm not taking those medications but I do have seizures and what happened while I was taking this medication was that I had more seizures. I had more uh, severe seizures in the course of time that I was actually taking this antibiotic. And having seizures is not fun, okay? It, it, it's, it's just not, okay? There's a possibility that you could be allergic to this. You have to tell your doctor if uh, you experience heartburn or reflux, depression, seizures, asthma, tendon injury, heart conditions, or liver disease or kidney disease um, if, if they want to prescribe this to you. And you have to be careful if you're pregnant because it's unknown if it's safe during pregnancy. Okay, so the side effects. Less common side effects, headaches, stomach ache, heartburn, body aches, itching, skin sensitivity to sunlight, and loss of appetite. Uh, serious side effects that can occur are seizures, unusual thoughts or hallucinations, dizziness, confusion, depression or suicidal thoughts, tremors, numbness, tingling or weakness, swelling or pain in your joints, chest pain, severe or bloody diarrhea. Uh, skin rash, hives, or blistering of the skin, difficulty breathing or swallowing, swelling of the face, throat, or body, decreased ability to pass urine, loss of consciousness, unusual bruising or bleeding, yellowing of the skin or eyes, which is jaundice, or dark colored urine. In these cases, if you have any of these side effects, you have to stop taking it uh, and call your doctor or call 911. But, in my case, I had seizures, and the doctor that prescribed this to me was very confident in the fact that this would not increase my seizures, and it did. Um, so my point here is, my point of this entire video is to not just rely on what the doctor or the pharmacist tells you, you have to make sure that you get all of your information. You ask the pharmacist for a copy of uh, side effects or do your own research online uh, on legitimate websites that tell you what the side effects are, if there's any warnings. 
if there's any um, interactions with any medications that you might be already taking, if you have any prior conditions that uh, may be affected by uh, any new medications that you're prescribed, don't just rely on what the doctor tells you. You have to be informed, no matter what. Because if you only relied on what the doctor tells you or uh, what the pharmacist tells you, they're busy. Especially this doctor specifically was in the ER. And so they have to deal with a lot of patients and they have a lot on their mind. I don't blame him for prescribing this to me. I don't blame him for uh, not giving me all of the information because he's a busy guy and he has a lot to deal with. The best information I can give you is to keep yourself informed. I can't say this enough. Make sure that you do your own research. Make sure that you are well informed, especially for new things going into your body like antibiotics, any type of medications, you have to be informed. Because if the doctor forgets about something or if the doctor doesn't take into account uh, any allergies or even forgets about any of your allergies that might interact with the medication, then that could be the difference between life and death for you. So, always keep yourself informed. Everything you take, inform yourself thoroughly. That is the best advice I can give you or anyone else can ever give you. Always keep yourself informed. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. And be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. My vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much.